Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got one of these Temco hammer lug crimpers and I need to use it on some one knot ring terminals here. Judging by the numbers on here, it goes from eight gauge to uh, three aught. And this side shows six gauge to four aught cable. So it should work for my purpose. I got some one gauge automotive cable here and it is bigger than the one I used before for my wood needs. But we're going to go ahead and uh, slide a piece of string tube down here first. We're going to go about maybe three quarters inch here. About right there. Now this razor blade is not really uh, sharp. It's seen better days. And this cable has a double jacket, so kind of tough to cut right through it. There we go. There we go. All the strands went in there perfectly. Now we're going to get our crimping unit here. And we should be set. I think this is like a two and a half or three pound hammer. We're going to get a good whack here in the center. And one more just to be sure. As you can see, it makes all these little grooves here, the little ribs, catches the trimmer on the bottom, adds that big dimple there, has a plus sign. I don't know if that means positive or it's just a design, but I think that should be good. I don't think it'll move on us. We're going to slide the shrink tube on there. Got me a heat gun here. And just like that, we got a professional looking uh, ring terminal attached to some one out cable. Here's the other one I did earlier. Like I said, one's gonna go for my winch and the other one's gonna be uh, a stinger for my welder. I'm gonna put my ground terminal here and a different connector on the opposite end. So other than that, I think it came out pretty good. This crimper was about 20, $23, I believe. Temcoindustrial.com. Temco TH0007. I don't know if y'all can see the there the 8, 4, 10, and 3 aught. The backside. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. But it goes from 6, 2 gauge, 2 aught, and 4 aught cable there. It's spring loaded so it holds the terminal in place. You know how to hold your terminal in place there. Now I didn't have any instructions with this, so I just imagine you pop the term the crimp in there, hit it with a hammer, and you're done. So highly recommend this. As these are just not big enough. <laughs> so all right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's how you build professional looking uh, either car audio cables or welding leads or just wire connectors and thick cables. So see you on the next video, guys, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.